So today we are making a birthday platter for my friend. She's 40, so I'm trying to make it a little bit special just for an extra gift. So I'm adding a little bottle of rosé wine to it. After I've done the main thing, I like to start with the bigger things first and then add in the smaller things after. It's all about colour, shape, textures and dimension. So first things first, I'm going to add the crackers. Just good old cream crackers I like to use. Some nice round black pepper and sea salt crackers. They're a favourite of mine. Another favourite of mine are these flatbread thins. Um, as you can see, they never stay in one piece, so I tend to just break them up and put them together like that. Obviously, they're not going to stay up just now because they've got nothing to ledge against, but that's the crackers. After the crackers, I like to do the cheese because that's another big item on the platter. So the cheese that I'm using today is a Scottish cheddar, a French goat's cheese covered in edible petals just gives that a nice look. Some French brie and some Wensleydale with cranberries. I love this cheese because it just gives it a nice bit of texture, nice colour and just, yeah, looks lovely. So when you're putting things on a board, just try and bear in mind the colours because cheese and crackers are all very much the same colour so we don't want too much of the same thing together. This is okay to add here because it obviously the colour and the texture is totally different. I'm going to add some little pots of stuff. So firstly I've got chutney. I'm going to put the chutney down here and I've also got some hummus. Now the hummus is plain but I like to add a little bit of paprika just to give it a little bit of colour and also flavour. So the meats I'm going to add to this platter is a honey roast ham. So it's just making the ham look pretty, the different colour and everything. So I just fold it and just kind of wrap the last little bit around it so it just looks a little bit nicer than what it would normally if it was just folded on a plate. So that's the ham. As you can see it's quite nice where it's all different shapes and folds and stuff. So where am I going to put the ham? So I think I'm going to put the ham here next to the crackers today. I would normally put it over here, but obviously you've got the pink of the bottle, so it's quite nice having a little bit of pink here. So the next meat is a mild pepperoni. I like to, if it's a special occasion, make it into a pepperoni rose, which is so simple. Just a nice little touch for a special box. I'm going to pop the rose here. Yes. So we've got the meat, we've got most of the cheese. So I've decided I'm going to add the brie here. So next I'm going to pop on the grapes. So when you're using fruit it's really important to give them a wash and to dry them off thoroughly. Okay, so I've decided to maybe add a few more grapes. Now a good little tip here is just get some loose grapes and just pop them where you can see the stems just gives the illusion of actually being much fuller which is nice I quite like these grapes because there's different colours breaks it up a little bit perfect so now we've got the grapes I'm going to add some strawberries so I've already cut the strawberries we've got them in half here That one doesn't look too great, so I'll not use that. Try and use nice looking strawberries. There you go, that's perfect. So I've got some cherry tomatoes as well, which 
just adds a little pop of colour here and there. Then another fruit that I really like to use on a platter is blueberries. Make sure they're nice and dry once you've washed them. So I like to use the dark chocolate that's actually nice thin squares. So I keep a couple squares and I also use some broken up. So I'm going to pop the dark chocolate here. Just to break up the colours, as you can see, these are quite similar in colour but the dark chocolate in between breaks it up. And because it's all different shapes, it gives it a lovely texture. So one of my favourite fillers are chocolate raisins. Also a great filler are peanuts. And also a little handful of mixed nuts. Another thing I love to use on a platter is pretzels. I just love the shape of them. Put some here. And also the fact that they look like little hearts is even cuter. Maybe add a few more blueberries. A grazing platter always looks better when it's full and like there's loads of stuff and it just looks so appetising. Lots of different colours. Another thing I like to do is just add little fudge pieces. It just breaks up the dark colours. Like here, the blueberries look quite dark but just adding this here. Put your little pieces here. I'm just going to add a couple of chopped tomatoes at the back here. So another thing I love adding to a grazing platter is radishes. They just give a lovely pop of colour. Just you know, in areas that maybe look just in areas that maybe look a little bit bland. So now I like to decorate it, try and make it look a little bit wow. My first thing that I really love is pumpkin seeds. They're actually my best friend when it comes to platters. I really just love sprinkling them over again to break up any you know colours that just may be a little bit too dark or so because it's a birthday and a special occasion I'm just gonna pop a couple of little smoked cheese heart cutouts here and there. As you can see on the cutouts I've added some edible rose petals. Just breaks up the plainness of the crackers. Something else that helps me break up the plainness is adding some rosemary which I just love. So I'm going to add a couple more pumpkin seeds. That's better. I've just added a couple of extra chocolates here. Just fills up that little gap. It 
there you go, that's the finished box. I'm quite happy with it. I think it looks pretty. I'm happy with that.